항아리 게임 리턴즈 메이플 스토리 월즈와 항아리 게임의 원작자가 만나면? 이거 뭐예요? 이게 뭐... 이게 뭐야? 어? 아니... 뭐... 뭐야 이거 메이플 스토리야 항아리야 뭐야 이거 메이플 월드 등반하기 헤드앤터 플레이하기 이거 들어온다 오리지널 등반하기 이거 뭐 어떻게 하는 거지 그래서? 뭐 뭐야 이거 보작감 왜 이래 보작감 미친 아니 <웃음> 오리지널보다 더 구려 친구야 먼저 갈게 너 개못하는구나 야 먼저 갈게 아! <웃음> 야 이게 뭐야 이씨 아 조작가 왜 이래 There's no feeling more intense than starting over. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, <웃음> as I have, or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute, if you want some money at, and then put all your winnings 어이씨. on red. 그 와중에 익숙해져 가는 게 너무 싫다. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped food on it. 애들아 여기서 뭐해? With a friend and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come. Oh! Over here. <웃음> 야 이거 개 같은 게임이야 이거. All right. Maybe for coming with. Maybe for 항아리 뭐야 이거. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit. 조금만 the game. 조금만 빨리 돌아가면 될것 같은데. I'll save your progress always, even your mistakes. This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002, titled Sexy Hiking. The author of that game was Jazuo, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B games. And B games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building than as objects. In a certain way, Sexy Hiking is the embodiment of a B game. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts, and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the oh! world or in real life, has certain so essential properties that give the game its oh! No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is unremittingly in danger of falling and losing everything. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. Yeah, you can be completely wrong in your ability to get through. Wow, 미쳤다 이거. Yeah, 조작감 진짜 개구리다 진짜. 내가 해본 게임들 중에서. That's it. Every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. Yeah, 내가 해본 게임 중에서 조작감 진짜 개씹구린 게임이야 이거. Yeah, 미쳤다 이거. 뭐야 이거? Intended to make a frustrating game. Wow, 미친 게임이다. 이거 해보세요. 야 미친 게임이야. 로비로 나가자. 도망가자. 잠깐 해봤는데 이거 이건 미친 게임이다. 그래서 메이플월드 등반하기 한번 해보자. 메이플월드는 뭐가 다른 거지? 응. 이건 또 뭐야? 어. 이거 메이플 처음 시작하면 나오는 그 배네. 이거 하고 나서 그 해안가 마을로 나오는 건가? 맞나? 아 심지어 저 풀로 넘어가야 되는 거였어? 헤이! 헤이! 
はいはいはいはいはい Back in the original days of video games in the 1960s and 70s, everything was just. Oh, I did! Binary logic. I did! I did! Where could I go? Where could I go? I mean, where could I go? I mean, where could I go? 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 When I was a kid, they tried to make things more accessible. Memory, how it functioned. But basic was not that basic. Yeah. I would try again and again to learn how to make a video game. I would get frustrated every time and just stop. Bonjour, la gamida! Bonjour, la gamida! That pattern continued for years. When I was a teenager, I tried to learn to program ball and C. Tried again to learn in Turbo Pascal. Essentially, it was just always the same problem, which is that you had to be writing the code. 역시 실력이 도약이지. 역시 이럴 때만큼은 실력이 도약이 아닌가? 아. 어가 없네요. 저기 아래 여기 아래 뭐 떨어지는 데 있나 했는데 아니네. 그냥 이걸로 돼 있네. 호차, 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 호차. Everything changed in the early 2000s with the emergence of new tools. Macromedia Flash, Macromedia Game Maker, Macromedia Fusion, Click and Play. Suddenly there were all of these different ways that you could make a video game, and I started to realize. It would be possible for somebody like me, not particularly good with programming, to bring my own ideas to life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 여기서 여기를 걸고 살살 올라가면 톡! 과감한 점프가 안 돼. 망치에 걸려. 조작감이 생각하시는 것보다 많이 구립니다. 아니, 어, 뭐, 뭐야, 이게? 보면 알겠지만, 아주 미세한 움직임으로 방금 전에 점프하는 거 봤지? 저렇게 된다니까? 아니, 애초에 말이 안 돼. 자. 아, 방금 거기만 올라가 보면 될것 같은데. 묘하게 도전 의식 자극해가지고, 자꾸, 올라가게 되네. 나 오, 오늘 쓱 아, 야 하지 마 하지 마. 아 다행이다. 껐어 껐어. 아 다행이다 껐어. 휴.